Good morning, rollers. I'm so excited that you're here today. Welcome to How Inez Rolls. Today is an early Friday morning and I'm shopping sales today. So let's get started. You know, it's a little serious when I got my ponytail going on because, you know, it's a cleaning day, it's a shopping day, it's all the things day. So I'm just looking at my circulars. It was payday, so I need to do the grocery shopping. So I use my circulars to kind of get a game plan. Um, Vons tends to be a little bit on the pricier side if you don't shop the sales, but I use the app. And I'm already making an order for my Walmart pickup. I haven't done that in such a long time, but let me show you how easy it is to do. So you just have to make sure that when you sign into walmart.com that you're on the pickup and delivery, not the .com part. So very easy. I just kind of type in what I need. Let's do tortilla chips because we always need those. <laughs> and it'll show you some of all, uh, all of these. So the great thing about Walmart pickup is let's say you order the Walmart brand because it's, let's face it, the cheapest. But if they don't have that in stock, they may give you this one that might be a little bit more pricier, but um, it's still gonna going, it's gonna give you equivalent to what you've ordered if that's what you are asking for. And there's a way at the end to do that, to click on certain things that you don't want substituted, or, and then they'll just credit your back, you credit your account back. So. I am a fan. I haven't done this in a while, but I think with going to two stores today, it's going to be a necessity. Am I right? I'm such a fan of my nearby um, produce department. They have such good finds and they're so fresh to me. So I just came back from Bonds. Like I said, I love the produce there. Um, also, they do have some really good sales going on. So. I picked up some of these sodas. It's, I got another pack too. They were $1.99 each. And this was $3.99. So I thought I would just have another one on hand. I always like to have a backup. And so now let me show you what I purchased. All right, let's start with the things that need to go into the freezer. It's really hot and actually extra humid today. Ooh. <laughs> so I bought a couple of these home style ice creams. This one is a favorite of Jonas's and Paul's. They um, they were on sale for like two fifty each, and this flavoring, I suppose, is like like Grandpa made it, as the the store clerk told me. <laughs> I will trust her opinion. So this week we had uh, I took Ezra to soccer practice. We just kind of sat around watched Jonas to soccer practice, and I bought him one of these um, these Mexican. Um, um fruit and cream bars and i told him that you can buy them at the store and he was so excited so i when i saw these these are mini versions and i'm super excited they were also on sale for about 3.99 which is a little pricier but a special treat and you'll see i've got a lot of special treats <laughs> i picked up just some uh frozen burgers so i like to do these in the house on my grill pan but I have also been seeing campfire dinners in which you can put the vegetables in a, a heavy duty foil. Um, we've done it before, but I've never used a frozen patty. So I'm, I might consider even doing that, but putting vegetables of your choice, um, some seasonings on that, and then putting meat patties on top of that with seasonings, and then a dollop of uh, like a cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. And so that, that um, gravy will make it so yummy for the vegetables. Mm. So I definitely want to try that eventually, but let's get this in the freezer along with these yummy um, onion rings. Cause you know, I'm making burgers. So <laughs> this will be together cause they are a match made in heaven. So let me put these away and then we'll continue. So I have here just some potatoes. Um, I'm sure I will make something yummy with that. Um, bananas. Um, my kids have like been liking sliced um, cucumbers with some tahini on it. And I just even, I'll show you, I even got something else to put on it as well. I got a zucchini for a stew that I'm gonna make. 
some lettuce, and of course tomatoes for the burgers. And I got a nice little watermelon here. So I did like their produce. Sometimes with Walmart, you just aren't sure. So I like to be able to uh, pick the ones I want. All right, here's some more treats. These were $1.87 each, so but you had to get three. I'm sure the boys won't be sad. <laughs> All right, I also picked up, I needed some more of these for the dishwasher, just some tabs. They do smell very strong, and uh, maybe I need to figure out how to make my own or something. Um, I picked up some craft singles for the cheeseburgers. And oh, this is what I got for the tahine with the like, cucumbers, just some lime juice. I thought that would make it extra great. So these were on sale. These were $1.67 each, which if you've ever been to Vaughn's, sometimes they can be like $4 to $5 each. So there was one evening we had some friends come over and thought we could do some hamburgers and hot dogs. And we ended up spending close to $20 just on the buns. So this was $5. <laughs> so these kinds of things are great in the summer. Like you can see that they're always on sale or whatever, and then put them in your freezer. They'll last for a few months. So something to think about. Um, something I also got uh, last week was this yummy bacon. Now this bacon is like a premium bacon. It's like standing up, it's nice and thick. It is so good. <laughs> so last week I got it on sale for $5 and so I splurged a little bit because it's not on sale. So it was $7, but you guys, this is so good. Like, so good. So I'm sure your store has like a premium bacon and like just kind of look for the ones that are standing up. Another thing that was on sale was some Doritos. So these are my favorite because they're perfect with a tuna sandwich. Um, and they were 74 cents. So I thought that was a, had to go get it, right? And I have in here just a couple of bagels, one plain and one everything. The everything is going to be for me. It is so good. Uh, and I also got some cream cheese for that. And one of my favorite things to put on that bagel will be sliced tomatoes and some sprinkled lemon pepper. Mwah! It is so good. And then I just picked up a couple of cream cheese blocks because I'm thinking still of making some cinnamon rolls and so I'm going to need one for the frosting for sure. All right, so now I'm going to complete my haul with showing you what I got from Walmart Pickup. I'll probably be picking that up tomorrow morning and I'll show you what I got. Hey everyone, we are on our way now to Walmart. It is Saturday morning, and so we are on our way to go pick up the groceries. So I'll definitely be showing you what I ordered this time around. She's putting it in the back right now. All right, we're back, and it is so easy to do the Walmart pickups. So if you have never done it, you just get the Walmart app and just like, I showed you on the computer, you just put the order in, you use the app and they can track you so that you are within a couple minutes of them and then you can just put in the parking spot that you're in, barely have to talk to anybody if at all and you just pop your trunk and they put it in and they don't accept tips because that was one of the first things that I had asked when uh, I did it for the first time with them and they said they can't take any any tips so that kind of is like a you know one less stress about doing the service let me show you what I got so these are the items that they didn't have at the at Vons or I knew I could get it at a better price at Walmart like these tortilla chips I ended up buying two of them we go through lots of tortilla chips especially like for a quick meal just make some nachos or if we're having taco soup I will put like a, a, a crunched up handful at the bottom of my bowl. Makes it so good. I just picked up some more paper towels. So if I'm buying paper towels like this, it means I need to get to Costco because I really love their paper towels so much. But this, this is okay. And I also bought some toilet paper. So you know I need to go pick up some of my paper goods at Costco. Stay tuned. Um, I picked up just some more Nathan's hot dogs. Yesterday I bought um, those, uh, the buns. I got them for like $1.67 each, so had to definitely buy some hot dogs. 
uh, I just picked up some yogurt. Now they do sell the flat that they have. I think it has like 12 in there for like 350, 360. These were like a dollar and a half for four, which is still a really good price. Um, they just didn't have what I wanted with the flat. Picked up some eggs. I go through a lot of eggs. So um, one of our favorite things to have on the weekend are puffy pancakes. And I use six eggs and a cup of flour. And then I just add like a cup of milk and like some of the, the sugar, a little salt, a little vanilla, and kind of blend that in. There's like a process, but pretty much you bake it. They're also known as German pancakes for some people. Although I just like calling them puffy pancakes because you bake it at four, like 450 for like 15 minutes and it gets really puffy. And I like to use Kamut flour, which makes it edible for Paul, who likes to do a lot of gluten-free eating. So, and it's really good. So using six eggs, that's a lot. So I go through lots of eggs. So another thing that's super good on those puffy pancakes, it's a little bit of whipped cream and I like to put some sliced peaches on it. It is so good. I even like to add some cinnamon into the mix. It is the best. And it's such a good recipe for the weekend, like I said, but especially for Father's Day. And so I don't know if I showed you, but I made these or had these shirts made that say, I laugh at dad jokes. And the one that Paul's wearing says, I've got dad jokes and we're all wearing them today. So it'll be really fun. So Cool Whip, good to have. Talking about more breakfasty items. These are my favorite sausages. They're so good to have. They are the perfect size to fill like a, an English muffin. So if you're thinking like an Egg McMuffin, this is like the perfect uh, sausage and it tastes so good. Another thing that I got for the freezer is some sliced, um, not sliced, but thin cut um, the chicken breasts. So they're very easy to cook. So I'll probably, I'm, I've been thinking about making some um, brown sugar and garlic chicken, so good. And then having it thin like this, it'll cook so fast. Um, I picked up a couple of my favorite extra fluffy original uh, pancake mix. I'm one who, I used to get all the buttermilk stuff and I don't know, like in the last probably five years or so, I've not been a huge fan of the aftertaste of it. Although I, unless I'm making it by adding the buttermilk, that then it has like more, I think it tastes more like a cheesecake taste, I don't know. But if it, if I'm not making it and I buy it, I would prefer it like this because then this just tastes really good. It just tastes kind of like a homemade version of pancakes. I picked up a few jars of these. I'm like trying to keep them nice and stocked in the back. Isaiah's coming um, in the next couple of weeks. So I wanna make sure we can send some home with him too if he would like. Um, I just picked up some like sandwich baggies and some freezer bags and some coconut because um, this is so good on bananas with uh, some peanut butter and some chocolate sauce. Ooh, it's so good. And also to make some um, coconut poke cake. Very good. I picked up some of these, these meatballs. So half of the bag I'll use because I'm gonna make some meatball uh, vegetable soup. I know it's like a thousand degrees here, but it just kind of sounds good. So I am, I love getting their the meatballs at uh, Walmart. They're really good. And I can make two meals out of a bag. And then I wanted to show you just a couple of like toiletry things. I've had a couple people ask me some, and um, this is my favorite lotion. I'm not one who likes the, the floral scents or even like going to some of these store brands like the Bath and Body Work kind of uh, stores. Uh, my skin is a little bit sensitive, so I have broke it out in hives, putting some magnolia scented lotion on before. So I try to stay away from the floral smells. So this one is just the advanced therapy lotion. It has got a neutral smell and I love it. And I had to pick up some more shampoo. This is the Heritage Purple Shampoo. I've been really liking it. So I do that about every few washes and then I do a clarifying um, wash on like the third or fourth time around. So that way it gets all of the stuff out. Anyways, 
that is it you guys so i spent at walmart about 85 dollars so if we're putting them together it was under 170 dollars for this week's grocery haul and i just feel like shopping the sales and going to the stores where you can get the most for your money is the way to go and doing the pickup makes it so i don't have to walk around the stores too much <laughs> i still like doing that thank you so much for coming with me um grocery shopping at vons and doing my haul at walmart have a wonderful week rollers and stick around you just never know what i'll be rolling out next bye everyone